Hi, I'm Melinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to take you through part two of our encapsulation series. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a clear gel that actually contains beads full of iron oxides for coverage and beads with lipids present. So this gel on application will release the inner materials to provide foundation coverage and lipid emolliency. All of this in a very attractive clear gel base. Now how we do this is the choice of the materials we're going to include into our clear gel. Now you can of course put these materials into an emulsion base. I'm picking the clear gel base simply because it looks really appealing to consumers that they can see through the product and yet on application there's this burst of colour and emolliency. And I'm going to be using Chongqing pellets. Now they come as green pellets that contain the iron oxides. Now you can increase or decrease the amount I have in this example formula depending on how much coverage you want. As you could see from my example, it provided a nice BB cream light type of coverage. I'm pairing these with fluorospheres. Now these are spheres containing jojoba esters. So when they burst as well, they'll release the jojoba ester emolliency. So we'll have colour and emolliency in a very simple gel base containing some glycerin. I am, in other words, creating an emulsion with coverage with no emulsifiers present. So how do we create this? Let's get started. Now I'm starting here just with my water, glycerin and preservative present. And the first thing I need to do is create my gel base. So I'm going to add my gelling agent and then neutralize it. I am of course using low shear here because I don't want to cut my polymer otherwise I'll lose all stability and viscosity benefits. Now I'm going to stir this until it disperses and then I'll neutralize it and you'll see it thicken quite quickly. Once I've formed my gel, I can then remove the shear. Now it is best to use um, more sweeper blades when adding these exfoliating materials because you don't want them to break before they've had a chance to be dispersed homogeneously. Don't worry if on the day of production all of your polymer hasn't completely swelled. One of the reasons we add the preservative to this mixture is so we can leave it overnight we can give it another stir, a very gentle stir the next day, and that helps make sure we've fully uh, dispersed all polymer, it will be fully neutralized by then, and also to make sure our beads are homogeneously dispersed before we pack it off the next day. Now remember when you make a gel containing a polymer, we can't adjust the final pH because right now it's a nice viscous gel, it's going to stabilise our particles really well. If we adjust this pH, we could cause irreversible thinning, lose our viscosity and stability. And of course when you make these types of products, you do need to leave them for at least a few days before you send them out to the marketplace as the capsules need to soften slightly before they'll break easily on application. And that's really all there is to it. Of course, you can put one or both of these materials into an emulsion base. Again, I've picked a gel base simply because you can see through it and that makes it really appealing and intriguing to consumers. Happy formulating.